guys, RC here, back with episode 7, Football Manager 19. We're working towards getting to the start of the season, uh, but I had some news. We have a draw today, so I kind of wanted you guys to see that, uh, assuming you would be interested. So first off, uh, do you remember Araceros last season? Uh, they got promoted along with us, but we beat them in the semifinals. Uh, and then they won third place to gain promotion while we played Socopo and, and won promotion. Both of us got promoted. Uh, Aracero approached us for a job interview. So I turned it down because I'm like, well, we just beat you guys. We're in the same Segunda division. So no real benefit to take that job it doesn't take us to another country it doesn't take us to a higher league it's a team that we've already beaten i mean they were a good side but you know probably the favorites right to be fair but you know so i turned that down anyway we have uh the draw so i'm assuming and again i have not looked at anything regarding the second division in Venezuela. I'm assuming it works out a little bit along the same lines. So we also got an email. <coughs> we can have three foreign players. Oh, rules change. So we had one extra team taking the Segunda division to 20 in total. So... Let's look at the draw. So there are three, is that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Let's check out the rules real quick. Uh, Segunda division, six teams, six, 12, 18, 19. I guess two of them have seven. Uh, 10 to 12 games, depending on if you have six or seven teams. Seven subs, three U's, no trialists. That's fine. That's the same. Top two qualify for the playoffs. The best two teams from the rest qualify for the playoffs. Uh, still get a ban after two yellows. A ban for each additional yellow. Oh, my God. I need to switch countries just for that. You saw how many players we had suspended last year? And I don't see... Oh, you know why? Because that is the opening stage. Okay, so that would be the opening stage. Um, all right, let's see if we can go back to last season. All right, so they had two divisions. La uh, hold on. Okay, so they only had two last year. Two of ten. One had the extra team. And then the playoffs... So the top two, and then the best other two. Okay, gotcha. So Llaneros, Yaracuyanos. All right, so a little different, but that's fine. All right, so we'll have three groups this year. I guess you could actually win your group and not be one of the best four teams, right? Maybe? All right, well, let's see where we finish off. Uh, where are we first season? Oh my gosh, we are picked as a first seed. Are you kidding me? I mean, we were not even favored to get promoted last year. Wow. Oh, there's Araceros. What does it do? It pulls all the rest of the... Oh no, okay. So they're a second seed, I guess. Interesting. Oh, there's Yurakuyanos. Lala, we're playing them in a friendly coming up. Oh, there we are. We're we're in the oh we're in the short group. That's gonna hmm. Oh, where is uh? Oh, there they are, Sokopo. Oh, they're going to be in our division. Oh, that's sad. So, Araceros is here, and then we're going to have Socopo in our division. Bummer. All right, so we're in the short group. All right. Pass. 
past positions no structure give me a second Anna. what's that stadiums grass ooh synthetic El Galau, yeah, 11th. I don't know what that means. Well, there's nothing else I can see in here, is there? I was looking for the, um, you know, like when you play in England and you can, you can see where you're projected to finish. All right, matches, stats, transfers, history. All right, well, that's fine. Well, I wanted you guys to see that, so we'll be in the third division. Uh, we'll get a test against Lala because we're playing them uh, in an upcoming uh, friendly. And really weird, we only get a couple of friendlies, and then we get like three months off. Go figure. All right, well, I didn't want to take a ton of time here, so let's come back for our season opener. We'll check out transfers. We've already had quite a few. Uh, we've signed six or seven players uh, already, so we'll come back and go over that uh, here in a minute. All right, guys, we are back for the season opener, season two with our first club, Minnesota FC. Uh, so just a real quick look at finances. We're 61000 in the hole. Uh, we've lost uh, $6,800 thus far in February. We're 10000 down in the season. Uh, we got a new kit sponsorship uh, for three years, I think. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, that's the new one that we got. So, real quick, let's just kind of run through. We're only going to have one match today for the season opener, but want to catch you guys up. So, we beat Lala 1-0, Jorman Vasquez with the lone goal, and then Moneros de Guiana, 4-1 win. Roberto Lunar scored and then got a penalty for a brace, and his fellow striker, Edgar Contreras, with a brace. We won 4-1. That is who we open the season with. What in the hell? Oh, this is the opening stage. Oh, my God. All right. What's the rules on this again? So there's one, two, three. There's six teams, five that we play. So we play each other twice. That's why we, okay, so we're going to have 10 games. Man, that gives us two less games to qualify. I wonder how they figure out, is it winning percentage at that point? Weird. Okay, I'm freaking out a little bit. Um, let's go in and look at, uh, well, quick quick look at the budget. Uh, so budget was $479,000. we are spending two hundred and nine, dollars almost $210,000. We have not spent any of our transfer budget. Uh, we have signed a bunch of people on freeze. So let's take a quick look here. All right, Kevin Morales departs on a free uh, back in December. Uh, let's see, his history... 13 games last year, all starts, four goals, three assists, one player of the match. Uh, so, and then uh, Luis Pineda, uh, he goes to, who's that, Barinas, I guess, Barinas. Uh, he played one year for us, 24 starts, two goals, nine assists, 7.25. He was our left winger. Really disappointed to lose him. But that's okay. I mean, he goes, uh, where Where do they play it? They're not even in a league. So he dropped down to a much lower division. And actually, he may not be as big a loss as I was thinking. All right, so long list of new players. One's a lo uh, two lonies. Let's look at those guys first. Anderson Valbuena comes from Angosturo. He is 17. On a youth contract, he is a right back, two and a half star current. So he's got, look, we actually got guys that can run now. So we got a little bit of pace. Uh, we have uh, really good teamwork, tackling. So he's more of a true defender at fullback, but that's okay. He's 5'8", 
Uh, I'm not going to change my way of playing, I don't think. So he's there. And then the other guy is Johan Rivero. He comes to us from Falcone, also 17. He is a center back, four-star current ability, pace, fitness, acceleration. Only 5'9", nine, nine jumping reach, six heading. Mentals are pretty good. Tackling's 14, marking's 9. Even though he's only 17, I think he's a huge upgrade at center back. All right, let's go through the rest of our guys, all on freeze. So Vilas Vogmir from the Elite Academy, he is a goalkeeper. Uh, handling is really good. Reflexes is good. One-on-ones, eh. It just seems really, I don't see a lot of quality keepers down here. So two and a half star current, five star potential. Um, yeah, we'll see if he's going to start. I don't I don't know who's going to start. I know who we played in our two friendlies, but I haven't looked at the uh, first match yet, so don't know. Uh, then we're going to have, uh, let's see, Samuel Z Z Zuniaga. He's a free transfer. Uh, out of contract, it looks like. 19 years old, four-star current ability. He is a left back. Again, pace, acceleration, decent crossing ability, marking, passing. He can tackle. He's going to be a big assist guy, I think. We're going to see a lot of crossing from him into the final third and hopefully lead to a lot of goals. Johan Rivero comes from Falcone. Four-star current, five-star potential. Another center back. Again, natural fitness, pace, acceleration. Pretty solid in the top mentals, bravery and everything. Heading is okay. Markings, marking is solid. Tackling is an upgrade. So I think we're going to be much, much better at center back this year. Speaking of center back, you guys know I'm a Leeds fan. Pontus Janssen got sold yesterday. And I'm gutted by that. Um, I, I I don't know if we'll ever know the whole story. I, I've seen a couple of things. A lot of it revolves around FFP, which makes some sense. And, you know, as fans, we don't know what the books look like. Uh, but I do know, you know, we already know that there were teams that were, you know, one team was closed down last year uh, for finances. Um other teams suffered point losses. Uh, one team sold their stadium to their owner on a private thing, and, you know, they got away with it. <sighs> Go figure. If Leeds would have done that, they probably would have been closed down. Anyway, uh, Jorman Vasquez from Illusion Naranja on a free. He is a right winger. Again, pace, acceleration, first touch, really good control, dribbling, can't pass very well, but he's got some really good ratings that I'm excited about. Uh, Eduardo Porto from Soda Rosa. Uh, he is a striker. Pace, acceleration, really good. Dribbling, finishing, touch, heading all up top. Uh, jumping reach, not great. Technique is, uh, is real solid. I like him. He has yet to play, and for some reason in the friendly, the last friendly, the uh, the game did not pick him over a, another guy. And I was like, really? Anyway, uh, Yara Kuyanos uh, gives us Jess, uh, Jesus Somoza on a free. He is a midfielder, actually a true defensive midfielder that can play Volante and anchor. Loving it. Decent pace, really good acceleration, decision-making, tackling, marking, passing. I'm excited about this guy, and he better play. <laughs> I don't know who he compares to on the team. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, and then Roy Bear Carrizales from Naranja, another one from Naranja. He is our left winger. And if we look at him, again, pace, acceleration, crossing. So we've now got a, two really solid crossers on the left side. Uh, first touch, technique. So... I'm pretty excited. We might see a breakout season. So let me know what you guys think about the transfers. Any of these guys going to be studs for us? If we do take a look at the squad, 
uh, now with current ability, you can see we've really upgraded. Uh, Lunar, of course. Lunar did re-sign a contract. We had a bunch of people come in wanting loans, and, and the GM rejected all of them. Uh, again, I do have the GM set to handle everything, kind of like a director of football challenge, just until we kind of you know get to a, maybe a higher level. I may keep it as a director of football challenge on top of the journeyman. Uh, cause I, I don't mind that, uh, don't mind that in the least. I do like, you know, having input on players and finding players, but at the end of the day, you know, sometimes, uh, the, the, the manager doesn't get the input on the players anyway. So, all right, let's check out our match. All right. We are in the uh, black and yellow. I, I, you know, I don't like vertical stripes, but, but these have pinstripes. I like that. I'd rather solid black with maybe just like some gold trim on it, but that's good. All right, we're playing uh, Chico de Guyana. We did beat them four to one, but it looks like they are favored. Um, you know what? Do they have? No, see, they don't show. They don't show how what you're pro projected to finish. Oh well. Uh, we have played them once. We got a draw. Oh, that's right. We have not played them. Must have played them. I don't know where we played them at. Anyway, moving on. 73 degrees. We are on the road. 298 tickets. We have uh, Copeland suspended from last year. Marquez out with a virus. And Val Valbuena with a twisted knee. They've got two suspended players and a player at doubtful with a pulled pectoral. We are the underdogs on the road, so I'm going to continue to play that anchor that we used last year. And so we are going to go with uh, Lunar up top, Porto, who is the 26-year-old. So it does put him into the mix. That's good. Carazal is that left winger. Uh, that's relatively new, liking that, so a little more pace on the field. Vasquez, the other winger, again, more pace on the field. couple of new signings there. Barcelo returns, our 31-year-old, uh, one of our team leaders. Only two potential, but, you know, he's got some pace. He's got some solid numbers, and he was pretty good for us last year. 11, 11 starts, four goals, one player of the match. Can't complain with that. Uh, Somoza, I believe that's our new guy, the 24-year-old Venezuelan, liking him in there. And again, he's he can actually play that anchor position. Uh, Zuniaga, uh, the new left back, comes in. He had one assist in the two friendlies, uh, 19 years old. Andrade returns on the right side for us, uh, very pacey. Uh, you know, not not a good crosser at all. Oh, uh, one goal, but he did have six assists last year. So, you know, not the worst guy. Uh, Bar Barlacina comes back at center back for us. Maybe not the best guy. And Salazar, Raphael Salazar, uh, he played for us last year as well. So a couple of our new center backs not going to get the starts. We do have a new keeper. Uh, we will have Alarcon on the bench. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce I'm going to say Vogmer, Vogmar, uh, Vilas Vogmar. That's what I'm going with. Uh, he's our new keeper. Uh, he came to us on a free from Academia Elite, uh, where he had 20 starts, allowed 30 goals, five shutouts. So we'll see if he can up his performance. Alarcon moves from our starting 11 onto the bench. Rivero, David Moreno, who uh, played for us last year. Uh, Showing Wolf, that's the name. The two Moreno guys will be on the bench. And then we do have Copeland uh, Marquez. We will see him a lot. Uh, I think we will see eh, probably, well, no, not him. Uh, Copeland is going to probably challenge for Barcelo's role, if I had to guess. And Contreras will give us some depth at uh, Striker. So that's what we're going to go with. Let's get to the match. So, again, let me know what you guys think about our signings. How do you think we're going to do this year? Chalk it up in the comments. All right. Uh, encourage the team. 
Uh, I'm going to give them the faith uh, talk here in the opener. Morale's just average. It's hard to have morale up when you only get two friendlies. That's kind of crap. We're only supposed to fight relegation, I believe. Let's change this one to that one. Horrible throw. All right, into Porto. Porto has it stolen away. Murillo takes the pass, lumps it over the top, controlled, and just beats the keeper. That's a that's the easiest goal he'll get all season, I guarantee. Uh, let's check our tactics. All right, let's... Uh, yeah, I was making sure that back line is not marked way up. All right, Lunar plays it deep into Carrizales. The cross, nobody there. Oh, off the woodwork. The equalizer. Two off target, one woodwork. Oh, my God. Cleared out. Not too, not far enough. Come on, defense. Collapse. Collapse. Oh, shit. <laughs> Johnny Gonzalez, and it's 2 nothing. After the draw, which you guys saw right before the match. Um, yeah, I don't need to see that. We, it's It might be a brutal year here, fellas. Carrizales. Oh, curved it just wide. Um, it did say we were handed a tough draw, so evidently we got the group of death. Uh, it may be, I don't know, ugh, it may be a rough season, boys. I just really don't want to go back down. I don't mind not winning, but I would... I don't even mind... <sighs> I don't even mind not making the playoffs, but I would like to challenge at least. Uh, come on, boys. All right, Lunar. Nice controlled header. Barcelo out wide. Uh, knocked away. Carrizales. Knocked off the defender. It's going to set up a corner. We really need to take advantage of one of these here. Ugh, not like that. All right. They bring it back. Reset. Andrade. Nothing happens. We're not playing badly. We've got possession. We've got total shots. But four off target. Three half chances. That's pathetic that we haven't converted any. Five shots, all of them on target. I mean, they've got two chances to R3. There's no reason. Disappointing. I really don't chalk any of those up to the keeper. Just, you know, that first one, just we were gutted wide open. All right, there's a header. Z Zuniaga, no, nothing happened. All right, Lunar, slight injury, a bruised thigh. Let's see if he can play through it for a little while. All right, Andrade leaves it for Lunar. Oh, that was, oh my God, and Salazar just got toasted. Oh, that guy had to be off sides, huh? Gerson Montilla. Oh my God. He was off sides. Barlacena was not keeping him on there. Oh, that's brutal. Knocked away, pounced on. 
Let's check. Uh, you know what? I am going to bring him off. I really don't have a striker, do I? I don't. Um... I want to bring Aguilera on. All right. Come on, fellas. Show some passion. Salazar is playing a 5-6. I'm going to pull him. All right. Oh, my God, a save. We had an actual save. All right, he lumps it out. Sempito, Ovalas, Mortia, Gonzalez. Oh, he plays a nice ball out to Ovalas. Oh, that one goes over, thank goodness. Come on. Come on, let me give a let me give a shout here. Hello, hello, no. All right. I didn't want to give a shout anyway, then, damn it. Norman Vasquez picks up a yellow, first of the season. That means the, the suspensions are about to start. Oh, my God. Tackled. Oh, it went right back to him. The keeper made a nice save. Good clearance. It's a huge stadium, no fans. Hello, hello. Demand more. They're focused. They're nervous. I mean, outside of Salazar, nobody's playing for shit. Um... What? What? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Come on, boys. All right. My my keeper got a yellow card. What do you do? Punch somebody into the wall. Control. Look at that by Carazales. He lumps it out. Oh, uh, Aguilera. Good cross. Uh, Porto did not make the run. Gerson Montilla. That's on their side, I believe. Bartosina. He hoofs it, but nobody made the break through the back line. Oh, uh, Porto steals it. Nope. Nope. I'd like to get a goal. Crossed in, brought down, knocked out. Marino out to Carrizales. Crossed in. All right, Rivero finds it, plays it up. Uh, and the keeper's able to make a play on that one with relative ease. All right, now they can just end the game. Yeah, just head it to the other guy. That's great. Oh, my God. Barcelo stomps on him. No card there? Wow. I guess we'll be lucky for that. All right, Gonzalez. Lumped forward to Gomez. Oh, a save by Vagmir. Nice. Nice save there. How did you know? Oh, okay, the full whistle. I was like, why didn't you even try for that ball? Yeah, well, I think we gave up a couple of stupid goals there. Just uh, yeah, 11 shots on target. The defense might be weaker than I thought. I am curious here. Let's see. want to look at him. Oh, my God, look at that. Yeah, they do look just a little bit better than we do. Um, 
let's compare this guy with Barlacena. Well, I don't even have his scouting. Okay, well, never mind. How do we not have his scouting when we know the ratings? Weird. Well, 10 to 15, 5 to 12. I think we are scouting them. I, I, I bought the scouting budget for this level. All right, well, dressing room, we should not hold back. Good, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go aggressive. Training hard tomorrow. And you, assertive. I am not pleased with what I saw from you today. He's unhappy. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Well, that's brutal. Uh, hopefully, Lunar's out three to six days. The next match is in seven. Carrizales made his debut. Vagmir, Zuniga, Somoza, Vasquez, Porto made debuts. All right, where do we come back? I think we come back relatively quickly in this opening stage. So we've already played Socopo. Uh, let me do two off camera, and then let's come back and do Lala and Angostura. I don't know why, just because. Uh, and then we might do, well, we already played Chico Guyana. Don't want to do that one. And then maybe we come back for, well, shit. I guess we come back for, well, damn, do I want to come back for them two in a row? Huh? How about we come back for Angostura and Chico? I know we just lost to them 3-0, but we'll play them again. I mean, they're evidently going to be one of the teams that we'll have to measure against. And then we can come back for Lala and Angostura to close out this first stage. Because I don't know what happens next. I just don't. <laughs> that was last year. That's this year. Segunda Division. Okay, let's go back to here. Okay. So last year, we had all groups. It's, that can't be right, huh? North? South? What I'm thinking, what I was thinking is maybe to break out the two groups you play this three state three stage that we're in now, but that's Segunda Division opening stage there. This is opening stage this year. Twenty and eighteen. Yeah, they just don't play a lot of games. <laughs> we may only have 15 games this year uh, if we make the playoffs. That that seems crazy, and that scares the shit out of me. Wow. So, yeah, this may be it. I mean, this may be the whole season right here. That can't, that can't be right, huh? A two-month season, and then we don't do anything again until next March? That's got to be wrong. I got to be reading that wrong. If any of you guys know how this works, please let me know. Is that true? We're only going to have a two-month season, and then we're done for another year. Holy shit. Um, okay, well, if that's what it is, that's what it is, because that's what it looked like last year. All right, so we'll come back again for... Angostura, Chico, and then probably Lala and Angostura. Man, okay, guys. Leave a like, subscribe.
Talk up the club. Let me know what you think about the transfers because right now they look like shit to me. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.